Okay, I finally figured out why I kept cutting off my videos even though I wasn't stopping recording. They only let me do five minutes at a time. So I bought the unlimited, so we shouldn't be interrupted. Sorry, I had to click on three different videos for this lesson. Anyways, now we're ready to do practice problem B. Again, we're gonna read the problem. You're gonna pause me, try it yourself, and then check your work with how I did it. Okay, so practice problem B says five eighths of the clowns had happy faces. If 15 clowns did not have happy faces, how many clowns were there in all? Hopefully you're not scared of clowns for this problem. Go ahead and pause me and see how you did. Okay, hopefully you paused and already got your answer. I'm gonna go to my whiteboard and it said five eighths. So we have eight, six, seven, eight, man, every time. One, two, three, four, five. So the boxes aren't pretty, but you get the idea. So five eighths of the clowns had happy faces. And then it said 15 clowns did not. So that's actually referring to these three down here. So 15 have sad faces. So 15 divided by three means five goes in each box. And you really don't even need to put the five in each box. You know, once you see it in one box, you know it's for all the boxes, right? So then the question is asking how many clowns were there in all? Again, it wants us to find the total. There's eight boxes, five in each box. Eight times five is 40. Scary clowns. My O almost looks like it's part of the clowns. Oh, now it really looks messy. Look, I can fix it. Uh, go back to pen. 40. Okay, so 40 clowns. Did you get it right? Uh, this time, give yourself a pat on the back if you got it right. Good job. I'm going to get set up for our next problem. Okay, practice problem C. Vincent was chagrined. That means like shocked when he looked at the clock. For in three-fourths of an hour, he had only answered 12 homework questions. At that rate, how many questions would Vincent answer in a full hour? So it's gonna be asking for the total, okay? So go ahead and get your diagram, figure out your sections and your numbers, and then pause me and see if you did it right. Okay, hopefully you didn't get stuck on that one. I know it's a little bit different. Three-fourths means I need four boxes, three of them, are the work that he got done and that was only 12 questions right so 12 divided into these three boxes actually means i'm going to put four in each box and then at that rate how much would he finish in an hour remember this is three-fourths of an hour so this is the total so four times four is 16 questions did you get it right uh try to give your friend a high five side by side Computer to computer. <laughs> Good job. I'm going to get set up for our next problem. All right. So again, the, these are the practice problems that I want you pausing after I read it. So the story in problem C can be expressed with the equation 3 fourths times H, 3 fourths H equals 12. So they gave us the equation. This is the algebraic way of solving that problem because he had completed 3 fourths of his homework. That's the H. Okay. So 3 fourths of H three-fourths of the homework, and that equaled 12. And so if we find out how much the whole homework was, H, then we have the answer. Okay, so pause me, see if you can solve that equation. All right, hopefully you tried it. If not, if you kind of got lost, go ahead and look here. So we have three-fourths H equals 12. These are the problems where we said instead of dividing, we're gonna multiply by the reciprocal. So we gotta do it to both sides. So multiply this side, by four thirds, which basically means we're left with H, but do it over here as well because we have balanced equations. We're trying to isolate that variable. So now over here, I can cross cancel and we see four times four is 16 and our label is questions. Hopefully I'm not going too fast there. And that, did you get it right? I'm trying to think of another reward for you. Uh, maybe another virtual high five. I really like those, but hopefully you're not getting like messy stuff all over your computer. All right, I'm gonna get set up for our last problem. Okay, our last problem, they actually wanted you to create one of the word problems, but I can't really check those and see how you're doing unless we did a flip grid, which we will do soon. Um, but I didn't really wanna do that for this lesson. So I thought of a funny one um, because everybody's running out of toilet paper or trying to stock up on toilet paper. Uh, remember when we all laughed at it? Now it's kind of like, okay, man, but where's the toilet paper? So I haven't run out yet. I hope you haven't, but this problem is about that. So it says three fifths of the toilet paper had already run out. If there were 10 rolls left, 
how many rolls of toilet paper did we start with? So go ahead and pause me, see if you can figure out the answer and then check back with me. All right, so I don't have that one in my book, so I gotta look at it again. Three fifths, okay. So I need one, two, three, four, five. I apparently am just like them wanting to use the numerator three. So three fifths of the toilet paper ran out. We've already used that much. This isn't a true story, by the way. Okay, and then I gotta look back at the problem. It's uh, there were 10 rolls left. So that means over here is 10 rolls. So divided by two would be five in each box. How many did we start with? What was the total? Five times five, we started with 25 rolls. Must have been a big pack from Costco. All right, guys, I hope you uh, got the lesson and you understood it. And I miss you guys, just FYI. But it's pretty cool that we can still do some math and not be uh, letting our brains rot, right? So your homework is lesson 71. It does start on page 504. And you don't have to do the practice because we just did that um, together. And you can do the odds back in your homework book. We'll grade them when we get back um, or, you know, if we get back. <laughs> uh, I think we will. I, I actually think that God's got this. And, you know, we're going to have a couple of weeks where we can do it this way and learn some virtual learning. And then when we get back. But no matter what, I'll figure out how to get these from you and get you your grades. But miss you guys. I hope you're praying, spending time with the Lord. And uh, check back here for more. Bye. I guess I have to actually pause it. Bye.